particle with mass. I am deflected by an inhomogeneous magnetic field which can split an unpolarized beam of me into two beams. I am composed of three spin half fractional charge particles. In the free state, I decay with a half life. Eden? A neutron. Yes. An artificial intelligence app listening to clues of riddles of the National Science and Math Quiz. After two clues, it provides an answer to the riddle. Named the Brilla AI, the artificial intelligence app attempts to quickly and accurately provide an answer to a question with a Ghanaian accent. The AI consists of four distinct machine learning systems working together in real time. Aside it being a very um, fun, uh, Dr. George Jojo Boateng is the lead of the project. Uh, so when a question is read in the riddles round, our AI system would have to first be able to transcribe the speech correctly. And then after it transcribes it, uh, we need to figure out uh, the stats of the riddle, right? Because to know whether or not we should try to answer. And having figured out the start of the riddle, we have to figure out which are the clues and which are not the clues, right? Um, and then we have to pass that system, that um, the clues to the question answering system, which would then try to come up with an answer. Um, and then once we have an answer, um, we pass it to our text-to-speech system, which will then say the answer with a Ghanaian accent. And one of the key challenges, how do we know at which point uh, to um, answer, right? Because we want to answer before the human contestants, but also accurately. So there's a bit of a trade-off there. Uh, so these are some of the technical challenges that our system addresses. The open source project seeks to explore the potential of artificial intelligence in the national competition and in the education sector. It would ensure equitable and universal access to quality education in line with Goal 4 of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. One motivation for this work is currently, in terms of how NSMQ preparation works, right, we have mo mostly the big schools that, you know, have the resources to eventually uh, do well in terms of preparing and then eventually get to the semis and the finals. Now, what if uh, we could democratize preparation, uh, let people have access to an AI system like this that could enable them to have unlimited preparation? It would help um, kind of uh, democratize preparation and give everyone, hopefully, a better chance at uh, preparing for the NSMQ and more broadly, um, this tool could potentially be used uh, for science education. So think about uh, students being able to have one-on-one -on -one learning interaction uh, with an AI, be able to speak and the AI would understand them as they speak with um, a Ghanaian accent, be able to come up with answers and give the answers back and also in a Ghanaian accent, right? If we could deploy an AI like that all across Africa, it could help um, students have one-on-one um, -on -one interactions um, to improve uh, their learning outcomes. The researchers are working to enhance the features of this technological beauty. For Joy News, my name is Emmanuel Bright Kweku.